information in in lenses using ray diagrams so this is a convex lens a ray parallel to the principal axis after a refraction through this lens passes through the principal focus on the other side of the lens now the next case a ray passing through the focus f of a convex lens becomes parallel to the principal axis after refraction through this lens this is just a reverse of the first case now the third case a ray of light passing through the center of uh, optical center of the convex lens emerges without deviation it goes straight after refraction through the lens now let's tabulate this when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis it passes through the principal focus on the other side of the lens when the incident ray is passing through the focus it becomes parallel to its principal axis after refraction through the convex lens when the ray is passing through the optical center of the convex lens after refraction it emerges without deviation it goes straight through the lens we should remember the paths of the th the three rays of light described here because we will use this to construct array of diagrams for finding the position and nature of images formed by the convex lenses the image formed by a convex lens depends on the position of the object in front of the lens so let's see the image formation by the convex lenses let's see the first case object at infinity all these rays are coming from the object kept, kept at infinity these rays are parallel to the principal axis after refraction from this lens they will pass through the principal focus on the other side of the lens so the image form at the focus of the lens is real inverted and diminished that is point size so where is the app practical application of this case in a telescope objective lens is a convex lens which forms a real inverted and diminished image of the distant object at focus now let's see the next case object beyond 2f now first see what is 2f this is f suppose if this is 2 cm 2f will be 4 cm okay now this object ab is kept beyond 2f this ray ac is parallel to the principal axis after refraction from this lens it will pass through the principal focus on the other side of the lens ray ao is passing through the optical center of this lens after refraction it goes straight the two refracted rays meet at point a dash draw a dash b dash perpendicular to the principal axis a dash b dash is the image of the object ab when the object is kept beyond 2f so the image is formed in front of, the image is formed between f and 2f on the other side of the lens it is real inverted smaller than the object now let's see its practical application a simple camera has a convex lens in it the object is at a distance of distance beyond the focal length of the convex lens the convex lens forms a real inverted and small image of the object on the film now the third case object at 2f this object ab is kept at 2f of this convex lens ray ad is parallel to the principal axis after refraction from this convex lens will pass through the principal focus f another ray ao is passing through the optical center o of the lens goes straight and meets the first refracted ray at point a dash on the other side of the lens draw a dash b dash perpendicular to the axis a dash b dash is the image of the object ab 
so when the object is placed at a distance of 2f in front of the convex lens the image form is at 2f on the other side of the lens so object at 2f image at 2f it is real inverted and of the same size as that of the object the next case is object between f and 2f this object ab is kept between f and 2f the ray ad is parallel to the principal axis of this convex lens after refraction it passes through the focus f on the other side of the lens another ray ao is passing through the center o of the lens goes straight and meets the first refracted ray at point a dash on the right side of the lens draw a dash b dash perpendicular to the axis this a dash b dash is the image of the object ab so when the object is placed between f and 2f in front of the convex lens the image formed is beyond 2f it is real inverted and magnified now we will see the next case object at f this object is ab is kept at the distance equal to the focal length of the lens ray ad is parallel to the axis after refraction it passes through the focus f on the other side of the lens ray ao is passing through the optical center o of the lens goes straight after refraction the two refracted rays are parallel to each other so the image is formed at infinity so when the object is placed at f the image is formed at infinity it is real inverted and highly enlarged now we will see the last case when the object is kept between the optical center and the focus that is between c and f what does that mean object is kept very close to the lens ray ad is parallel to the axis so after refraction passes through the focus f on the other side of the lens another ray ao is passing through the optical center o of the lens goes straight after refraction the two ref uh, refracted rays diverge away from one another and therefore they cannot meet on the right side of the side to form the image we produce the refracted rays backward they appear to meet at point a dash on the left side of the lens so draw a dash b dash perpendicular to the axis when we look into the lens from the right side it appears to that the, the rays are coming from a dash b dash thus a dash b dash is the virtual image of the object ab so when the object is kept within the focus of a convex lens the image form is behind the object that is on the left side of the lens it is virtual erect and magnified so let's summarize the image form by a convex lens when the object is kept between focus f1 and the optical center o the image is formed on the same side of the lens as the object it is enlarged virtual and erect when the object is at f1 image is at infinity it is highly enlarged real and inverted when the object is between f1 and 2f1 the image is formed beyond 2f2 it is enlarged real and inverted when the object is at 2f1 image is at 2f2 it is of the same size of the object real and inverted when the object is beyond 2f1 it is bit between f2 and 2f2 it is diminished real and inverted when the object is at infinity the image is formed at focus f2 
it is highly diminished point sized real and inverted now how to remember all this this is a convex lens this object is kept very close to this lens that means what it is between o and f1 it is so close to the lens that the image cannot be formed on the right side it is formed on the left side on the same size as the same side as the object okay then next is object is at f1 when the object is at f1 now the image is starting uh, to uh, form at the right side it is at infinity that means image has moved from left side to the right side okay now the we will move away from the lens further this object is kept between f1 and 2f1 okay so where is the object form from infinity it has come to beyond 2f2 okay now this object we are moving away from the lens this object is kept at 2f1 so when the object is kept at 2f1 the image is formed at 2f2 object at 2f1 image at 2f2 image object and the image both are of the same size so this is the cut off point when the object is at 2f1 image is at 2f2 it is of the same size now we are moving away from the lens object is kept beyond 2f1 so the image is coming closer to the lens so when it is beyond 2f1 the image is formed between f2 and 2f2 now the object is kept at infinity these are rays these rays are coming from infinity so the image is formed at f2 image has come closer to the lens now see the size it it was close it is totally a different image it is virtual and erect on the left side of the lens okay as we are moving away from the lens this image is coming closer to the lens now let's look at the size when <coughs> it is at infinity when the image is at infinity object is at f1 image at infinity that image is highly enlarged okay now we have moved further it is between f1 and 2f1 the image is enlarged so as we are moving towards the lens ima image size is getting reduced the cut off point is 2f1 image and the object are of the same size then it is getting smaller and smaller when the rays are coming from infinity this is a point size image it is highly diminished this is how you can remember when we are moving away from the lens the uh, image is coming closer to the lens as we are coming closer to the lens the image size is getting smaller and the smaller this is how you have to remember it